Hello YouTube and welcome into some Let's Play Civilization 6. This is part one of our A to V deity challenge. Uh, this game will be Alexander and we will be pursuing a militaristic style victory which is suited to this dude. Um, these intro videos or part zero videos are largely going to be very very slow. Um, we'll barely get to turn two. So if you just want to skip to the second video, go right ahead. Um, this is going to be for new people or people that are unfamiliar with these particular leaders um, where we talk about kind of how their abilities synergize with the victory type we're going for. We're going to, uh, we are going to talk about the map type that we're playing on and things like that. So Alexander, uh, the abilities that I really like on him are to world's end um, where you don't incur war weariness. That's a really good strategy in slowing down your opponents because if they are incurring war weariness and you're not, um, they're having amenity issues, they're having uh, production issues, possible barbarian spawns within their own cities, things like that. Um, so you could theoretically, I haven't tested this, but I thought about you could just declare war on somebody and just leave it um, and have that, have that war weariness kick in for them and just kind of be able to wreck your opponent's curve or slow them down a lot. Um, so that's a good one. Uh, Hellenistic Fusion is quite nice. Um, it helps you keep up with science and um, cultural inspirations. Uh, Eureka's and inspirations um, as, you, as you conquer cities. Um, we'll be at war a lot, but warring too much too early is usually just a bad idea on Deity, um, which is why I don't love that he has two early military units. I think it could be fun on a... I'm like a slower paced game, um, but all our game speeds are just going to be standard. So you'd kind of want to just pick one of these, I think, and um, and rush that whatever unit it is. Um, you don't really have time to get to both of them. You'll just start to fall behind the AI way, way, way too much. So our strategy is going to be uh, the, the unique cavalry where uh, we can hopefully just spam some of these out, probably even before we get a barracks um, and take down an opponent early. Um, if that doesn't happen, these may not see play at all. We'll eventually get encampments, which will help us uh, also keep up with science. So you'll get some, um, you get your extra experiences you normally do with barracks and um, armories and things, but you also gain some science equal to 25% of the unit's cost. So um, it's not huge. Um, you're basically going to want at least one or two high production cities where you can get a bunch. And it helps. It's, it's something. Um, part, of, part of getting a militaristic victory is having very, very good science. So uh, this, this is nice, but you can't rely on just these two to get there. Uh, you still have to have campus districts and social policies and things like that. So um, a lot of times people like Pangea for a map type is if you're going for a militaristic vid uh, victory. I'm just going to stick to continents. The one change I am going to make is um, is the start position. Uh, I find that on the balanced start position, you get uh, you get early horses and iron, and those are nice for early inspirations. Um, which which again with the horse strategy, if we uh, if we find some early horses, and we get that inspiration. We're going to be pretty happy. Um, then we can basically use the social policy that helps us build uh, cavalry faster and just spam out a bunch of those and maybe take down an early opponent, hopefully before they get walls, uh, because that's a big issue. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and give this a start, and we'll talk about uh, start position, some of our From opening the tiles, of life and, uh, water, to the great and policies that we'll be looking for. Age. So. To man taking his first upright uh, steps. Jeb, the, the challenge far. is just playing each one. Now We're not going to win as each one. Quest. It's From not going to be uh, a <laughs> cradle of civilization. <laughs> it's, it's a bit ambitious. The stars. Great warlord Alexander, beneath and the one bummer to this is YouTube flags the, uh, the music, so we won't have music for a while. Every All right, here we go. Um, this is kind of typical of Alexander. He, he apparently has some kind of desert uh, bias. Um, by the way, we are using the CQUI mod, if anybody thinks this looks different or wants to check out the mod we're using. Um, so, I don't love all the desert. That's That definitely bums me out. Um, but if we move here, actually, moving here would be awesome. Uh, our 
opening's okay. So, but I really want to get to this, right? I mean, this tile is just so good. This is going to give us some extra money early on. We're going to have some military units. Um, it'll help us with upgrades and things like that. The other option is to go over here to the hill in which we'll get an innate production bonus, which might be good as well. There's, there's a good tile over there in the sheep as well. Um, the thing that sucks about this is this puts our founding of our city at turn three, and that's a little bit slow. Is this a hill? That is a hill. We definitely don't want to settle here. It's too easy to assault. Um, we don't have any natural defenses. There's just flat land all around us. Um, our capital be, would be very, very susceptible uh, to both barbarians and, uh, and the AI. I think I might take the delayed start and just get over here. Turn, it makes it turn three found, but it's, uh, I think it might be a lot better for our initial city here. We want, we want a really good capital with very, very high production um, so that we can eventually get our encampment. Yeah, I think let's go for it. Um, our warrior can then explore as well, and then we'll talk about we'll talk about um, abilities once we found our city. And then we'll put the cut in the video and we'll start we'll start playing. Petra game, yeah, no, there's there's not really a good Petra. I mean, if we moved that way, maybe, um, but that seems incredibly weak and risky. We could always put another city over here for Petra, should we want to. So this is a very very slow city found, but. Uh, I think I like it. I think I like it. Um, and let's just explore with our warrior. Probably want to go this way towards the river and such. Try to find a, an easy second city. All right, so let's found. Um, normally, your capital will only have two food and one production, but because we found it on a plains hill, we get the extra production, uh, and that that's might be worth the turn three three uh, found, but might not be as well. We'll we'll find out there. Um, okay, so let's take a look at our tech tree, and we basically have to get to either here or here. Um, I think I like the horseback riding. Uh, bronze working also makes sense because we'll reveal iron. And again, we have a balance start. So we should have some of these early strategic resources um, versus kind of shooting in the dark for those. Uh, but I think I like the horseman rush. The reason I like this is you get the initial promotion and you also have some extra mobility with just being a horseman. Um, a little bit worse innately in assaulting cities, but uh, I think we're gonna we're going to be fine with that. Between horsemen and some archers, hopefully we can take down an opponent pretty early. And I also like getting archery right away on deity. So that seems to make sense. We also have uh, some cattle that are going to turn into decent production tiles. Um, well, food food tiles with some bonus production once we improve those. Um, that's also animal husbandry. And this tile is just fine on its own. Um, adding, I think, I think improving cocoa adds an extra gold. Uh, yeah, so pretty easy. Let's look at um, social policies. I like to go code of laws. So this is how you get your government. Um, and I like to go craftsmanship into state workforce uh, so that we can have the production of melee and range units. So this will help you produce archers. And then this will help you uh, reduce your maintenance cost of what might be a strong military early. Otherwise, we just avoid combat, go economy, get, uh, get campuses and stuff so that we don't fall behind. If you war too much early, you will most likely fall behind uh, the AI. They have incredible bonuses, and all of a sudden you'll have a big army, but you'll be a whole era behind in tech. So um, initially, uh, you have one citizen, and therefore you can work one tile, giving us two food, which helps us grow, two production, which, help, which helps us build things, and then right now we have some extra gold. So moving towards this tile is, is quite good. And then this should be a much more defensible city. We've got some hills where we can place archers. Um, they can either move right up here or across the river. And uh, between a couple archers here, we should be fine to defend. And then I almost always start with a slinger. So I'm uh, going to keep that going. You like the move to the hill? Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. And it looks like maybe we have another uh, city spot over here somewhere. Plus, Plains Hills are so good to found on. I also like moving away from the desert, frankly. So, 
Um, that will conclude part zero. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you didn't, I hope you uh, watch part two.